Well, the very last of the peppers and tomatoes of the 300 tomatoes and about 100 peppers are getting planted right now. Time what? The tomato. So we we tied up all the tomatoes. Look at Aiden compared to Aiden. Aiden's about five foot, and they're about a foot, foot and a half over him. Tied up all those back there. Fresh hay. Aiden got fresh hay in there. And all right, see, we planted another. So far, one, two, three, four, five, six rows of threes. Eighteen, and eighteen. So we planted thirty-six more tomatoes. I don't know if these will make it. Some of them look kind of bad, but I had to get them in the ground just to try. Tied up all our peppers, so everything's doing good in the pallet beds. Everything's doing good in the Hugo culture. Aiden, don't water the leaves. Water the base, babe. Yeah, I'll try to around it. Okay, and then water the other one. Um, we've got some yellow one over there. I think it's a calcium, or either it's just airflow. So I tied them up tight around the base. I think we're okay. Uh, got some more tomatoes planted right here. Tied up some tomatoes. Our cilantro and carrots are taking forever to go to seed. So I'm hoping they just go on and go to seed. Also, our, our, some of our deal is going to seed. And we just, it's like it's taking forever to get there. So um, we're trying to finish up a few little maintenance issues. And then we're going to go get the rest of the, the bee honey. So today is a day that we uh, needed to finish pulling some honey. And to tell you that it is hot. <laughs> is an understatement we have been sweating like a dog we've already been to two beehive two uh, other places that have bees on them checking them and on uh, one of our other ones we pulled some honey we're back at home this is where the most we're gonna get and we went into one and opened it up let me show you now this side is ready but this side is not so it's got honey and all that, but it's just not ready. And we were going down the road and lost all our good stuff, so I'm using a paintbrush. Yeah, we had a trailer hooked up to my car, and the back is not on it. Hey, when you can, this? push my glove on all the way. I had to take it off to turn the phone on. Up, oh, you're exposing my arm. Okay, that'll be good enough. Can you take this one over there? Yeah, we were, the we were going down the road and the back's not put on it. And we ran over a railroad track and it, our box of bee stuff fell out. I mean, what's the look of that, right? And by the time we got to the feed store, which is where we were going, the feed and seed store, we realized that it had come out and by the time we started looking for it, it was not in the road we found our bag we have a brown paper sack that we put straw in to light our smoker and um it was laying in the middle of the road so we know it come out somebody's picked it up now somebody going to be honest enough to maybe try to get that back to their owner like maybe turn it into the police department or something like that highly doubt that i put a post on social media just saying hey if you find this it is ours if we get it back i don't know but anyway so we're using a paintbrush i suggested to brush the bees off like with what colby is doing brush the bees off i suggested since we don't have our brush since it was in the bag to uh use radius. a paintbrush that's pure spring honey there So we have pulled some honey this spring, but some wasn't ready. So we're finishing up that project today. So you'll see us going in the hive, getting the honey, getting the bees off, bringing the frames to another location and we'll put new frames back in here. And thankfully we do have a little bit of shade right here where we're at because in the other two places there was absolutely no shade and when i say sweat was dripping off our faces it was literally dripping off our faces it was so hot so we'll just continue to do this 
right here and uh, move those frames of honey over until we're all done and um, I'm hoping we'll get at least about five more gallons. I mean, that's um, almost a perfect. Uh, so we'll just, see. Look how perfect that is. No crazy draw mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. I wish all my bees could be this easy. I like a bee got in my pants. Let's we'll see. You I'll do know in bee just dance. a second if a bee got in my pants. I promise you. They will let me know they are attending. Look at this, there's open open and closed brood, honey pollen. That show, as this is a sign of a successful hive other than this queen cell that my wife is just gonna rip off of there. We don't right. want no queen cell. And it's, it's open, it's not really closed off, but I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. That's why you always want to check your check your highs just to make sure maintenance wise that while you're full of flow go ahead and make sure there's no needs for them all right yeah okay so this hive is good got that little queen cell out of there they've got about eight frames drawn out so that's why we went on and put a new deep on it or excuse me a new shit a new super on it honey super on it for fall and really i don't want it on there normally i could take it off right now because they're not really making tons of honey but they needed room there there's a lot of bees in there it's a newer hive and she's laying like crazy so i didn't want to i didn't want to um you yeah, I mean, you were cut me off i'm trying i don't want to put my <laughs> i don't want to put my face too close to the side because i don't want to look all swole up in the morning. <laughs> well, I officially have sweat dripping off of my face again. <laughs> it is so hot in Mississippi, y'all. But anyway, so we're on our uh, next hive that we're pulling honey off of. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Fully capped, fully even, no crazy build. It is absolutely gorgeous. So we have, let me see if I can tilt it. Several more in this one. Yeah, we got probably five or six more just in this one. That, Look at uh, this, how they're drawing that cone out. This is one of our foundationless, so we don't put a foundation in there. And this is what we do. We cut it out because we have a lot of clients that like to eat uh, the wax. And I do too, but we have a lot of people that do buy. And so they'll eat this, and we'll put uh, raw and filtered honey comb in the honey. And uh, people love it. That's probably what sells the best at our farmer's market, wouldn't you say, Mitt? Yeah, we have these little plastic containers that will cut it into little squares and people just really like it for the uniqueness so um that one's not ready yet but they are working on it and we're going to keep working on this hive until we're done because i'm now officially sweating my makeup off that means she's so smoking <laughs> i don't think so can you hit that boop no nope. boop <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you saw us having trouble with turning it off. One thing about turning the phone on and off in these super duty thick gloves is that it's hard to turn the camera on and off on your cell phone, which is what we're currently using. When it's hand touch and we're using gloves, so sometimes we have to use our face. <laughs> and that's what we were trying to do. So this is our biggest and our best hive. We've already right pulled here. off one spring flow off this, and this has got two more. This has got two supers. This has also made three splits this year. This is... All right. I don't necessarily want to see this. This is in my fourth box up, which has got a queen excluder. So either one of two things have happened. Either I've got a secondary queen that chambered in the top, and I just didn't see it, or my queen chambered in the top. So I guess what we'll do is go down below the queen excluder and see if I got queen cells, or excuse me, got closed brood and open brood down here. If I've got open brood down here, that means I may have a double queen. Uh, I've never had that. So what we would do at that point is take these, all these four or five that's got cells on them, or got drones, or excuse me, 
I'm sorry, close brood on them, and we will actually just split them. Uh, it's not really what I wanted to do, um, but I might have to. Um, I'm just kind of surprised about it, to be honest with you. I've not seen a queen, but there's, like I said, I've got, I've got open, that's open, open brood there. So, so that means our queen has been there somehow very, very has gotten above our queen excluder and she's been laying. So there's some more. That's what it is. She, she said I got trapped up here. All right, so tell them what's going on. I got right. the phone on. All right, are we on? We're on. Okay. See, right here, there's the queen. She did get trapped. See her? She's in the very bottom corner. I'm going to move my. See, so she's apparently the long one. when we were moving honey last time, she's trying to get down there. Actually, she's beautiful. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to easily get her down there without manipulating her falling through. So what we're going to do. You want me to put her in my hand? Well, Look, which way up? She's the biggest one over there climbing the corner. Keep, her, keep your eye on her because I can't find her. I see her. All right. Well, we're supposed to get off here so we can get her and get her moved back down. Hold on. All right. We are sweating like crazy. Woo! We're done. We have pulled, you can see over the trailer, we have pulled probably 45 to 55, probably 55 to 60 frames of honey. So we have got a lot of slinging to do. No, excuse me, we got more than that, 10, 20, yeah, probably 45 to 50. So uh, we're gonna probably end up with hopefully about 10 gallons off that, or at least seven off that. So we're excited about that. The bees are doing good. You wanna talk about them any? Yeah, well, Let's give them an update on what we did on the our best hive. So we had the queen. We had the queen in the top. She must have the, slipped in there last time we did it. So yeah, the queen excluder. She was above the queen excluder where the honey supers are supposed to be, and we saw her, which we got some of that on video. And uh, bad news and good news. The good, the bad news is, is I tried to catch her with my hand. There was so many bees around her, I dropped her on the ground. <laughs> The good news is, is after we kind of got everything shuffled, I looked over on the side of the other hive beside us and there she was. So I, I scooped her in my hand. We got the clean excluder back off and put her back down in her place. So hopefully we didn't shake her up scared. This is much, our best hive. So when we lost that queen, it was like mad dash. Ah! We went crazy <laughs> trying to find this bee. I so. thought that he was gonna kick me out of the house. I might have. <laughs> Anyways, everything's good. We're going to sling some honey. It's been a long day. We're sweating in every place you can sweat in. One way to sweat, get in a bee suit, come to Mississippi. Guaranteed. I may have lost a little weight today. It's actually a pretty good thing. So. I think we both lost some weight. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a little crazy, but uh, happy homesteading, y'all. <laughs>